All right, so today we're really diving deep into uh, the Lexus LC500 V8. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you've been doing your research on this one, and we're here to kind of help you figure out if it's the car for you. Yeah, definitely a lot to unpack with this one. Yeah, it really seems like one of those cars that's sort of a statement. It is. Um, and to start, I mean, just those numbers, 477 horsepower, yeah. 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. It really, uh, I mean, you see those numbers and you think, okay, that's fast, but there's just so much more to it. Well, and to get those numbers right, we're talking about a naturally aspirated V8 engine. I don't know about you, but there's something about a V8 that's just inherently cool. Oh, yeah. It's that that classic rumble. It's uh, It's got that pedigree. You right. know what I mean? It, yeah. It goes back to like some of the most iconic sports cars, you well, know. But what Lexus has done is they've taken that raw V8 power and they've combined it with some really interesting technology, like the transmission, for instance. It's a 10-speed automatic. 10 speeds? That seems like a lot of gears. Yeah. What do you even do with 10 gears? Well, and that's the beauty of it. You don't have to do anything. It just does it for you. It's always in the right gear, you know? So whether you're, like, flooring it or you're just kind of cruising down the highway trying to save a little bit of gas. Right. It just, it handles it all for you. Uh, so it's kind of like having like a little driving assistant that's always one step ahead. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it just makes the car feel really responsive. Like, yeah. you know, you need the power. It's there. You want to have a smooth ride. It can do that too. Yeah. It's a really nice blend, I think, of performance and refinement that you don't always see mm -hmm. in a car this powerful, you know? Yeah, totally. And you don't often see 10 gears. No, you don't. Um, but okay, so we've got this beast of an engine, right? But, I mean, this is a coupe, so it's not all about, you know, horsepower and all that. It's got to have some style and finesse, too, right? Uh, for sure. So what are your thoughts there? I mean, the LC500, it definitely delivers on that. It's just a gorgeous car to look at. But I think the coupe design also tells us something about who this car is for, you know? Okay. Yeah. This isn't like a family car. It's not necessarily the most practical car. Right. It's a two-door, four-seater. Yeah, and I was looking at the specs earlier, and that trunk space is not huge, so... No, it's stuff like... You're not fitting, you know, a family of four's luggage in there for a road trip or anything. No, definitely not. This is a car for, like, personal enjoyment. Yeah. You know? This is about enjoying the drive. So more like weekend getaways, date nights, that kind of thing. Exactly. Like a nice scenic drive along the coast. You know, something like that. Right. Yeah. So maybe not the most practical car. But hey, when you look that good, who needs practicality, right? Right. But uh, I did want to ask about something because I noticed in the specs that this car meets Euro 6 emission standards. Um, and I was curious about that because that's pretty impressive for a car with this much power. What does that even mean for someone who's not, you know, a car expert? So basically it means that Lexus has found a way to make a really powerful V8 engine pretty eco-friendly. Like as far as gas-powered cars go, this is about as clean as it gets. Okay. You that's know? Interesting. So that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, for sure. But, I mean, let's be real here. Nobody's buying a V8-powered coupe expecting to get, like, Prius levels of fuel efficiency, mm. right? Right. You're not going to be winning any fuel efficiency awards with this car. Right. But it is interesting to see car companies, you know, finding ways to make these high performance cars a little bit more efficient. Totally. It's a sign of the times. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So for someone who's maybe considering the LC500, but also looking at something like a Porsche Cayman or a Jaguar F-Type, how would you kind of compare them? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, it really just depends what you're looking for in a car. Like, if you want pure speed, mm. you know, you want, like, track day performance and all that, then the Cayman might be a slightly better pick. Mm -hmm. And then the F-Type, that's a head-turner. You know, if you want a car that just screams, look at me, that's <laughs> a good option. But where does that leave the Lexus? I think the LC500 kind of sits right in between those two. It's a more refined experience than you're going to get from the other cars. You know, it's powerful, but it's also comfortable. It's stylish. It's kind of like the grand tour of the group. It's like the perfectly tailored suit that you can still wear on a casual night out. Exactly. I like that. It's versatile. Always makes a statement. But, you know, beyond the performance and the luxury, there's something else about this car that I find really compelling. Oh, okay. I'm intrigued. What is it? It's the sound. That V8 engine, it's incredible. There's nothing else like it. You know, it's funny you should say that because I was actually just thinking about how people compare the sound of a good V8 to, like, music. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's that visceral experience you get listening to that engine roar. 
it's not just noise. It's like a mechanical orchestra, mm. you know, and it just adds a whole other dimension to the driving experience. Totally. It's emotional, mm -hmm. you know. So we've talked about the power, the luxury, the styling. But who is this car actually for? I think it's for someone who appreciates the finer things in life, but who also has a little bit of a wild side, you know? Yeah. Somebody who understands that driving is about more than just getting from point A to point B. It's an experience. Yeah, it's a statement for sure. Exactly. It's like saying, hey, look, I've worked hard. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to experience life to the fullest. I love that. Um, and speaking of the future, where do you see a car like this fitting in with like the rise of electric vehicles and everything? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a great question. That's the big question, right? And there's really no easy answer. You know, electric vehicles are amazing. They're efficient. They're quiet. They're the future in a lot of ways. But at the same time, you know, there's something about a gas-powered engine, especially one that sounds this good. So do you think there's room for both? I think so. I think there will always be a place for cars that are about the experience, you know, the emotion of driving. And the LC500 is a great example of that. Exactly. For sure. It reminds you that sometimes it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. I love that. And if that journey happens to involve a roaring V8, right. even better. Exactly. So for our listener out there who's maybe, you know, on the fence about this car, what's the one thing you want them to remember? Remember that this is a car that engages all your senses. It's a car that makes a statement without being too loud about it. It's a car that you're going to remember driving. I like that. Well put. And on that note, we're going to wrap up our deep dive into the Lexus LC500 V8. We hope this has given you a new appreciation for this very unique and exhilarating machine. Till next time, happy driving.